I want to give you another tip on organizing your project to make your modeling easier. So suppose you want to model this object and you have just the rough dimensions, uh, the, have the width, the length, and the height of this table that I want to model. So what you can do is, instead of 4D, um, just make a cube the, the same dimensions. Okay, so this is the uh, width, height, and length of that table that we just looked at. And what we can do is build the table within this cube so we know what, in other words, this cube is the region of space that that table will inhabit. Okay, well, right now this is not helping us too much to build something within here. We've got to make some adjustments. So, um, first of all, come over to your uh, object manager and let's name this uh, size guide. You should always, believe me, name your objects for your, in your projects. Um, what we'll do is we'll put this uh, on its own layer so we can enable and disable the visibility of it. And I talked about layers in a previous video. So with the uh, this new size guide cube selected, go into the uh, click on the layers tab to bring up the layers uh, manager and let's just double click in the layers manager to make a new layer and name your layer let's call it size guide again and what we'll do is we'll click hold and drag our size guide cube into the size guide layer and now um, as I explained in a previous video this letter V stands for visibility, I can uh, toggle the visibility of this object. So again, my reason I'm doing this is so I can build my table within this cube. And uh, there's one more thing we should do to make this much, much easier. So click on the uh, size guide cube, go into the attributes manager, and click on the basics tab. First of all, we're going to make this a, a different, distinct color, so uh, we can we know that it's just a guide and it's not one of the objects. So, in, with the Basics tab uh, enabled, go into Use Color. There's a drop-down menu. It's off by default. Just choose On, and the color picker will come up. Double-click on the color picker and choose a, a color that. Um, is not gonna, you know, it's gonna like stand out. So like something like a magenta or a green or something like that. So I have this green with a saturation crank down because I don't like really bright colors in my face um, and click that. Okay, now still that's opaque and building a table within there is gonna be a little bit difficult. So what's really cool, again, under the basics tab, if we enable X-ray, now we can see through the cube. Okay, so now how do we use this? Well, again, this is just the region of space that the, the model will inhabit. So let's, um, let's make the table top. So let's make a cube. There she is. Let's go to the top, the uh, four view here. So the in the top view, I'm gonna expand my cube, so that's the width of my table, that's cool. And then on the right side I can get the length of my table. And if you look up in here, it's you know everything's working just great, you know, as it should. And then in the front view I'm going to squish this down and I'm just going to guess at the the width of the tabletop for this demonstration and pull it up to the top of the table and I can zoom in here and get really picky. Okay, so now um, I got the tabletop length, width, and position figured out just from using this handy dandy X, you know, transparent green cube. And now when I get sick of, and when I want to check on my work, I can just click on um, in my layers palette and I can click on the visibility of my size guide layer and you know now I can continue to work on my table. So I'll make a, another cube, and I'll fit it here. You know, so it's a, a 
a, a leg, a table leg, and I'll do that four times, and I can just uh, enable and disable the visibility of my size guide through the layers manager. So if you're building something, you know, of your own design, um, or working off just rough, um, rough measurement or whatever, this is really a handy thing to do. Um, it's a really good way just to get like the proportions of an object down, especially if you're like building like a scene with, you know, different objects. And you, you, you know, for example, the, the tree and snowman thing we did earlier in the course, you know, you could have done this to get relative sizes of all the objects in your scene. But anyway, that's using the layers palette <clears throat> and um, enabling and disabling the visibility and also with the uh, the cube uh, using color and having x-ray <clears throat> enabled so it's it's a helpful little thing you can use in your projects